I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. We normally take questions which students find difficult. The idea is to make them understand the basic concepts and look into strategies which can help solve such questions. In this playlist, we are preparing our student for the final exams at Excel level A. The questions are being shared by my student Amy. I hope their solution will help all. We'll begin with discussion on the question and then I'm going to provide you with complete solution. Um, so this is a parametric question. Yes. So figure five shows a sketch of the curve C1 um, with parametric equations, um, x equals 2 sine t and y equals um, 3 sine 2r, um, where t is between 0 and 2 pi. So part A show that the Cartesian equation of C1 can be expressed in the form y squared equals kx squared times 4 minus x squared, okay. where k is a constant to be found. And then the circle C2 with center row touches C1 at four points, as shown in figure five, find the radius of this circle. So these are two different questions based on the given diagram and the parametric equation. Let us now see how do we solve such a question. So I'll begin with working with the parametric equations, which are x equals to 2 sine t and y equals to 3 sine 2t, where t is between 0 to 2 pi. And we have to derive relation y squared equals to kx squared 4 times x squared. So, we are given that x equals to 2 sine t. And y is equal to 3 sine 2t. We can apply the double angle formula to write y as 3 times 2 sine t cos t. Since we need y squared on the left hand side, let me square this. So, when we square, we get y squared equals to this is 3 square, which is 9, and we get 4 sine square t cos square t, right? So that is how we get our expression. Now, from the very first equation given to us, if I square, what do I get? I get x square is equal to 4 sine square t. So I can replace 4 sine square t with x square as you can see. How about cos square t? We can write cos square t as equal to 1 minus sine square t. So these are the substitutions which I am going to do in my equation. <clears throat> so, these are the substitutions which I am going to do in the equation y square equals to 9, 4 sine square t cos square t. What do we get then? So, we get y square equals to 9 and 4 sine square t is equal to x square Cos square t can be now written as 1 minus sine square t. So let me write this as 1 minus sine square t. So we can now write this as 9x square and within brackets 1 minus sine square t will be x square by 4. Now, taking 4 as the common denominator, we can write this as 9x square, 
4 minus x square over 4. Bringing 4 outside, we get 9 over 4, x square, 4 minus x square. So, we have written y square as required and now we can compare the coefficients. So, that gives us k as equal to 9 over 4 as shown here. So, if you compare the value of k, it is 9 over 4, right? So, we get our result where k is equal to 9 over 4. Perfect. So, that is how we can write the Cartesian equation from the given parametric equation. So, now let us look into the second part of this equation, which is we need to find the radius of the circle. We already know that y square equals to 9 over 4 x square times 4 minus x square. Perfect. Now, part b, how do we find the radius of the circle? So, as you can see, the radius is the maximum of this particular C1 curve for which the parametric equation was given and we wrote it as y square equals to 9 by 4 x square times 4 minus x square. Now, to find this maximum, let us write down the equation of circle. Since the center is the origin, so what should be the equation of circle? Well, the equation of circle is r square equals to x square plus y square. Now, we know what is y square, so we can write down the value from the Cartesian form of the equation for y square. So, we get r square equals to x square plus 9 by 4 x square 4 minus x square. You get the idea. So, that becomes the equation of the circle. Now, we need to find the maximum value of r for this particular equation. So, we will take help of derivatives. We will find the first derivative equated to 0 to find the critical number and that should give us the maximum value for r. Correct? So, let us simplify this equation and then we will find the derivative. So, we get when you open this bracket 9x square minus 9 by 4 x to the power of 4. Taking derivatives with respect to r on both the sides, what do we get? Let's take the derivative with respect to x. That will be better for us. So, we get 2r dr dx equals to 2x plus 9 times 2, 18 x minus 4, 4 gets cancelled, 9 x cubed. So, that is the expression which we get. For critical number, this should be equal to 0, right? So, so we can equate this to 0 and then find the answer. So, we can now solve the equation which basically is 2 x plus 18 x is 20 x minus 9x cubed equal to 0. Now, solving this, we can take x common. So, if I take x common, I get 20 minus 9x square equals to 0. Well, x cannot be 0, but 20 minus 9x square can be 0. So, 20 minus 9x square equals to 0 gives us 9x square equals to 20, which means x is equal to 20 over 9 square root. So, that becomes the value of x for which we will get maximum radius. Now, radius could be from 0 to that limit. What we can now do is substitute this value and find what r is on a fresh page. 
So we found that R square simplified equation was 10x squared minus 9 by 4 x to the power of 4. In this equation, we are substituting x equals to square root of 20 by 9. So we get r square equals to 10 times square of 20 by 9 square root gives us this minus 9 over 4 square of 20 over 9. So solving this we have 20 over 9 as a common factor. Correct. And uh, let's write down. And here we get 10 minus 9 over 4 times 20 over 9. So that gives us R square equals to 20 over 9, 10 minus 9 and 9 cancel. And 4 goes 5 times. So minus 5. So, which is equal to r square equals to 20 over 9 times 5, which is 100 over 9. And so, r is square root of 100 over 9. And that gives you 10 over 3 as the answer. So, that is how you can find the radius of this given circle. Correct? So, a lot of steps involved here. Let us summarize the solution. So, we began with the parametric equation x equals to 2 sine t, y equals to 3 sine 2t, where t is between 0 to 2 pi. To write it in a Cartesian form, we expanded sine 2t with 2 sine t cos t and then squared the given equation x equals to 2 sine t to get relation of x square with sine square t and that was utilized to substitute the values in the cos square t and sine square t. Simplifying we got a result with k equals to 9 over 4 and then to find the equation of the circle we use the concept that the center is 0 therefore the equation should be r square equals to x square plus y square. Since you know the term y square is 9 by 4 x square, 4 minus x square, we wrote our equation, simplified it, right? I could have written 10 x square here before taking the derivative. And then find the derivative and to maximize r, the first derivative should be 0. So we equated that to 0 and got the derivative. You can also see that we could prove that this is a maximum. Let this be an exercise for the students. You can find the second derivative and show that for this particular value, the second derivative is negative. Or you can analyze the first derivative. Okay, so we will get the solution of r by substituting the x value of 20 over 9 square root in the expression for r square and then calculated r as 10 over 3. The steps shown here are kind of simplified and I found that these are good steps to solve this problem in minimum time. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Follow our series and understand how do we really solve examination style questions?